What up, people? All right, I'm going to wait a little bit to talk about the new toy that I got. But until I get a couple more people in here. But, guys, I got a new toy. And it, I'll get a couple more people in here. And it's, um, it's amazing. All right. So, anyways, all right, talk about a few more things. Uh, for everybody that orders stuff, I've got stickers coming in that I'm going to send out to Patreon subscribers, send out to people who have ordered shirts and send me things. And, yes, these are small, so I'll order some more. Let me see if I can zoom it. Well, it ain't zooming in. What's up, Red? How you doing, man? Um... Uh, I got look at my stickers. Anyways, I have got. I just want to say first off, say thank you guys for hitting hit help me hit that one k. Uh, I've got two more packs of stickers coming in, and then once I get those in for anybody who's ordered shirt like Little Red, um, aka Renee, um, and. Patreon subscribers, they will be getting a pack with stickers in them. Um, and, of course, Patreon is going to go and I'm going to do more like um, more stuff for Patreon, some dedicated videos to Patreon subscribers. Um, and there is uh, discounts for clothing for Patreon. Now, the thing that I wanted to talk about, um, if you guys have seen some of my posts, I had recently won an item from a paranormal page. Um, I know I don't have a D-Live. I thought about it. I Actually, I think I did sign up and I've never used it. Um, I may do that. But I'm also uh, also I'm going to be starting a second channel as soon as I get everything together for the channel. Oh yeah, one of my other new toys. It's a toy for what I'm going to do since it's good for being in the house. Once I get the controller, I will take that to abandoned houses, and it'll be the one that I fly inside inside the building to go. Like say if it's a warehouse, big huge warehouse, in order for me to go up and do things um but what i was saying the toy that i got in the mail which i'm not i'm not gonna open it right now but yeah uh i'm gonna do an unboxing video that way i can give you guys some awesome um looking b-roll of it uh a little clip from the guy who created it I, actually, I can share a clip of his stuff. Uh, let me play his trailer. Imagine. Hold on. Now, all right. This is the trailer for the channel that I got this box from. Um, the page is Saving Ghosts. He actually has a series on um amazon prime six episode series on there if you want to go check it out he does some great work he um has these boxes if you guys have seen franco's uh channel the angel box that franco used that you know the one that called him pathetic the one that um brought the spirits in it, it is these boxes are amazing. I've seen a few people use them and get some direct uh, information from them. Uh, but this is the trailer for his channel. Imagine you or someone you love has passed this mortal coil. but cannot move on. If you could, would you help them move on? Would you want that help? We find and try to free lost or trapped spirits who cannot cross the divide between the mortal and the paranormal. We are Saving Ghosts. Alright guys, anyways, what I'm going to find the video that he uh, talks about his 
equipment or talks about shipping it out to me. I'm not going to. Welcome. Let's see. All right. Here it is. It's just a sessions video, so I'm going to get it out. It's going to be battery operated. And this is the Trinity box that is going to be going out to a lucky winner who uh, won the 1,000 uh, subscriber hey. uh, giveaway. So this is going to be, this is that Trinity box. So anyways... I did. I won the Trinity box. Um, Trinity box, and you've seen it on his channel. Let me. This is the Trinity box. This here is that's what I'm going to be unboxing and showing you guys. It is a basically it's a ghost box created with different items. There's crystals and copper and all that that attracts the spirits. This is not the same box that Frank has. It's a totally different box and it's same premise, but yeah, this, I, I watched him do these videos and it's awesome. I can't wait to try it out. Uh, yeah, that's that. I, man, this is everything starting to come together. Uh, during quarantine, I started, you know, I got more time at home and, a little bit, a little bit of extra income came in, so I actually jumped, stepped up my game. Of course, got me a new backpack for my things. Um, bought a few extra things, and I've got things coming in the mail too. And GoPro, I've already had that. Let me see. Black light. Uh, let me find all these items. No, you guys seen I've got my K2 meter. Got, of course, digital recorder. And about the bomber girl. I'm speaking of her. Hey, I'm 94.2. We have to do that at work. Now, I have bought more items to do my paranormal stuff. I have a couple uh, infrared things. I'm trying to get a night vision camera, which is going to be a pain in the ass. Now, I know GoPros do low light, so I'm hoping that the infrared lights I got, I've seen videos where they work with them, so it'll be a little extra stuff added to it. Um, now, it's like I was saying, you know, hitting 1K, that was great. That's all because you guys helped me out. Um, I wish I'd been able to get out and do more things these past few weeks, which I should have. But with uh, every, I work, my work schedule is, I work three days a week. Problem is, is it's like I got off work at 7 a.m. this morning. I, got, I go back into work at 10 a.m. in the morning. So every other day I'm working, I get maybe two, three days off in a row. And during those three days, I have had to sit at home most of my times because I'm waiting on stuff to come in the mail. Matter of fact, today I'm waiting on uh, something to show up that cannot be left outside. Um, and like, and today I got my, trinity box in the mail and there's no way in hell i was letting that set outside now guys if you want to get one of these boxes from saving ghosts go over to their channel subscribe to their channel hit them up on facebook hit the group up um they these boxes re are relatively cheap uh last i heard um it is 270 for a box um they do pretty much the same thing as those $5,000 boxes. I mean, it's the same premise. They do the same thing as those $5,000 boxes that you see on, like, matter of fact, um, the show with Jack Osborne, the uh, Portals to Hell. If you watch that show, there's a Geoport box that he uses. 
these boxes that uh, Philip's making over at uh, Saving Ghost, they're they do the same thing. I mean, they, they're not. Yeah, they're not. They don't have those LEDs coming through the screen or nothing. But it's the same premise, the same, and they're great. They work perfect. They're. I, I see this being a. I see these trinity boxes the angel phones the uh let me see if i'm fine uh, another youtuber got his angel phone matter of fact it was the very first uh one that he used all the time let me find that video and i will show a clip of it um well where'd it go angel phone yeah all right this this is from the Everything Paranormal show. This thing he got here is the angel phone. He said, "Device." Is there anybody here with us? Now, with this box in his house, he had all right. This guy has his house protected. And it's thank you, Red, for sharing the link. That um, that's that's awesome, man. Thank you. Now, like I said, this guy has the boxes protected, or his house is protected with crystals and everything. So, getting a spirit through on these things on any kind of EVP session with this guy probably is going to be a difficult thing in his house, but. He does get some stuff coming through. Okay. So I'm going to turn the EM pump off. So let's do this. I'm going to work. Get... All right. With these boxes, you can use the SB7. Uh, and there is a app that you can use with it. Or you can actually use it with. Actually, no, you I see did what that. I did. I reached over and I turned down the noise gate. Because on this, on the afterlight, also... What was that? Is there something you'd like to say? Nah. All right, guys. I went on and broke down and got the necrophonic app. Did you say Gwen? Is your name Gwen? Renee, thank you for finding that for me and sharing those links. That is awesome. Uh, that's why you're the mine. There isn't what? But... As you can see, the these things bring them in. The Necrophonic app and all that works with it. Uh, you can plug. It comes with the... I'm setting a point to my screen like you guys can see that. Uh, it comes with a cable. These boxes come with cables that can plug into anything. <clears throat> now, ooh, I need it. I've always... The SB7 radio and all that, I never really wanted to get it because, honestly, my thing is I don't like – let me turn – get back to where he started. I don't like the <laughs> noise that it makes. It It's uh, annoying. Let's, 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 let's dive right this. in, folks, shall we? Let's let's go ahead and see. So I've got – we're going to start with the, the SB7 first. Now, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear this. I didn't really have a separate audio mic for this. Right. I'll show you guys what annoys me about these. It, I mean, it's the constant sweep, radio sweeps. I don't like that. Also, That's why I said I would like, never get one. I forgot one. the charge stuff. And but, things start dying on me. That right there. All right. So, I don't know if you guys can hear that. But, it is sweeping. So, now you can take your noise control... And you can slowly dial that up until you can either faintly hear it or don't hear it. That's why I may go on and get an SB7 box. I don't know. Now, there is a new box. i got to find out. I want to see how it compares to the SB7. Uh, now, I've got a link in my description for Ghost Stop. If you guys decide to get anything from Gold Stop, click on that link for me, and it'll help out. Let me find this ready. This here. I don't. No, that's the wallet. Okay. 
to find the actual box there. The S box ghost radar. Uh, I'm waiting to see, uh, say Philip over at saving ghosts got the S box ghost radar, uh, recorder. I said radar. I'm sorry. The S box ghost recorder. And I'm waiting to see how it compares to the SB seven before I go and spend the money for SB seven, which is $69 with the microphone and a little flashlight on Amazon or $69 for this via, I got nine hours to purchase this thing for 69. Hmm. Oh, well, anyways, like I say, it, I don't know which one is better. So I don't know which one I'm going to get because honestly, I don't have any experience with either one of them. Let's see. Can do the PM, PMP AK music box for paranormal. I was thinking of getting one. PMP music box. Yeah. Um, hold on. I was doing something. All right. Now, I, I want to get one and I'm going to test them out. I am going to go back. To uh, once I get this box out and figure it out. Okay. Motion detect. Once I get this box and figure out the settings and adjust it to uh, check out, adjust it to figure out how to get it to work and stuff, I am going to go back. What's up, uh, Corey? How you doing, man? Long time no talk. But yeah, I'm going to go back to um, Coville Covered Bridge, the bridge where I got the EVP that told me to get out or get off. I can't, I don't really know which one it was. At first, I thought it said get out, but the get off, I heard that later, and that sounds more like some somebody would tell me on the bridge. Now, as, as speaking of that place, um, I went to... Uh, I went up there and but I was on another paranormal group for Kentucky and somebody posted pictures and they called an apparition of a girl or something in the exact same spot that I caught my EVP. Like where I was standing, it was within maybe a couple feet of where the uh, EVP came from. And uh, a guy that was in the group said all the stories that or a lot of the stories that you hear are true. The woman and daughter who died on the uh, bridge. Uh, if you guys haven't watched that video, go back, check it out. Uh, look in my playlist for Haunted Bridge. But yeah, it's it's great, man. Um, I'm, I'm actually, I can't wait to use uh, this ghost box. Uh, I want to do the unboxing now, but I want to do it for do I'm gonna do it to where I can put some EVP work in, or put some B-roll footage in of it, give you guys really good view of what the box looks like. Um, I mean, I could unbox it now, but the unboxing video would be I, that way. I have time in the middle of recording, actually hook it up and show you guys how it works in the video. Um, or I could just do a review video for it. Now, again, stickers. I I will be getting more, and as soon as I come up with a great little logo, which I'm not sure what to do. I've got one idea, and that's actually tatted it right there. It is a. Um, oh, thank you for sharing the video, man. That is great. Um. And my bad about not being checking out your lives lately here. I've been so busy with getting everything together, getting shit situated for the house, um, figuring out what to do with COVID, like unemployment. Something there's a glitch in Kentucky's unemployment. I didn't get anything this week, which is painful. Uh, although I did 
pay my landlord's rent up and you know but uh i i've been trying i think um being stuck in a house not really having anywhere to go without having like i don't i want to go there's an abandoned hotel i want to go to um but with everything being shut down I'm not sure how, like, some cities people are acting out. I don't know if you guys seen on the news anything. In Louisville, there was a preacher <clears throat> that walked up to some teenagers at a park and smacked a teenage girl because she was, they were out at the park, not social distancing. There was, like, maybe five teenagers, couple, two couples or whatever, and this preacher and his wife, ironically, right next to each other, not standing six feet apart, walked up and smacked, uh, started arguing with him, and then the preacher choked or smacked the girl. And it... People in Kentucky are retarded. I ain't going to lie. We got a lot of dumbasses here in this state. Uh, I don't know you, if you guys seen the video of the girl who uh, cut a hole in her mask. But, yeah, uh, let me see if I can find this video. Sorry, I was reading a comment. All right, this is actually in my town. All right, I think this is it. Uh, it's... Uh, Homo news or whatever, and I'm ashamed to admit some of these people from my my city. You know, we we've seen a lot of nominees for the COVID idiot trophy, but this one takes the cake. A Kentucky woman was filmed in a now viral clip out shopping with a hole cut in her face mask because it made it easier to breathe. Her words. The footage posted on TikTok showed a gas station worker in Lexington totally bemused by the woman as she casually walks about the store with a big old slash down the center of her mask, rendering it utterly pointless. As the Karen approaches the counter, the clerk mockingly questions her, where did you get that mask from? She replies, well, since we have to wear them and it makes it hard to breathe, I've seen that. Easy to breathe. Well, makes sense. The clerk then says, cutting it? Yeah, I'll do that too. Thanks for the advice. Uh, just watch this. So this girl's coming in with her mask on. Y'all need to see this. Hey, yo, look at this ghetto ass piece. Hello. How you doing? Pretty good. I need to know please. Uh, where'd you get that mask from? Well, since we have to wear them, it makes it harder to breathe. It just makes it a lot easier to breathe. Cutting it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that too. Thanks for the advice. Appreciate it. The footage, which it. All right, guys. Yeah, that. Um, I like I said, I don't know. And Red, I I seen that uh, on the news where it makes you wonder. How are people going to the um sorry I'll put check stick on how are people going to the um mailbox or, or I mean do the people in your town go to mailbox with underwear on? I mean I have seen people walk into the mailbox in nothing. I've seen video clips of people going to the mailbox wearing bathrobes with them wide open, wearing nothing, junk swinging. So uh, that is something that I would expect here. And where you're at, I'm. He was only in a row. Did he, uh, that? Yep. Was. Uh, did. I, I, that's something I don't want to see. I don't want to see a guy walking around with his um, junk swinging around. That's, I mean. <sighs> If you're going to check the mail like that, I mean, at least, I don't know, that, don't come outside. Do not do not come outside in a bathrobe, and that's it. That That's just ridiculous. I mean, I, I understand the free the nipple thing. Yes, I understand that. But um, what's up, Beauty in, Beauty in the East? How you doing? 
Um, <laughs> I've went to the, I've walked, stepped outside with underwear on, checked the mailbox uh, years ago, uh, but that was maybe drunk or any an abbreviated or go to, you know, I can't talk, but that was something along the lines where I wasn't in the right frame of mind. But um, now I'm not going to walk outside and, and especially in the neighborhood. So I don't need kids seeing me uh, naked. I'm, if that was the case, I'd have a uh, OnlyFans page, but you know, I'm not going to do that. Oh no, that's scary. I wouldn't want to see myself on the fans. Um uh, so, anyways, back to paranormal stuff. I have contacted several places locally trying to get a get in and do a um investigation. And um sorry, I wanna pop up because we've been doing stuff. Uh, my fiance painted this for me. Didn't realize it, but there's a baby group. There's a group in that damn painting, and she didn't know she painted it. Whew. But uh, anyways, like I was saying, I got sorry. Distractions are made easy. Now, I've contacted. There's a local uh, theater here that is a known hot spot, and there is um. There is um, a uh, all right a paranormal investigator. They run. They used to run a convention till they sold it called Scarefest here locally. It is a horror and paranormal convention here in Kentucky. Uh, if you guys haven't done went there, you guys should check it out. Come this year. I'm not sure if everything's going to be normal, but, you know, because Comic-Con got canceled this year, got pushed next year. Uh, so, anyways, this paranormal convention, uh, YouTube, she's got a YouTube page, I believe. Her name's Patty Star. She does, on Facebook, She's um, she is a paranormal investigator in this area and has been for years. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, when you get here, when you get ready to come, hit me up early. Let me know, because if I can get the night off, I will meet up with you and go do them. My night's off when we get back to regular schedules is Wednesday and Thursday nights. But um, where are you from, Beauty in the East? Um, but anyways... Patty Starr had, does these investigations. I've got her book somewhere. She did an investigation at this place called Kentucky Theater. And there is a ghost there of, I guess, they believe the ghost is a, uh, it is, he is a, uh, used to be a projector worker there. And he will, the same guy will go down and sit in the seat. And you can actually see him in the seat. They actually seen him in the hallway when they opened the door. Um, Oh, okay. Chris, I did not know this was I knew you had I knew your YouTube. I looked at it. I don't know why I didn't put it together. My bad, man. Uh now what was you saying? I need to find something like Comic Con over here. So you're still in Thailand? Oh yeah, you're not gonna have a Comic Con over there, man. Um, I'm not sure where the closest one is to you. But I'm sure uh, I'll, if you want, I can look up and see if I can find something. But uh, yeah, get you, when you come back to uh, Kentucky, man, you need to come to Lexington Comic Con. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I contacted Kentucky Theater to do an investigation. And they, um, and they, um, blah, blah, blah. They said that right now where they're closed, their insurance won't cover anybody being in the build. I said, okay, so how about when this is over? Well, we, uh, can we set up something then? They said, no, they don't have the employees to stay that late, which they haven't done paranormal investigations in a long time. Kind of sucks because I've heard a lot of stuff going on. The, um, 
same thing for a place I've done an investigation. I don't have video footage of it anymore. This was something years ago, like five, six years ago. It was a uh, on a whim. Somebody contacts that, Hey, you want to come do this? So, but anyways, there's a place in, um, there's a place called Whitehall mansion. Uh, it is a, um, Senator war general or something's a uh, building. It's yeah. We caught stuff there that night when I was there, temperature fluctuations uh, and all that. And I contact them want to go back and do it. They, they haven't done it for a while. They can't do it right now due to everything being close. So yeah, it's being difficult to get into places. I'm not, I don't want to do any like go. I try not to go to any places that I'm not allowed to go into. Uh, Cause I don't want to get trespassing charges, but um, the um, the um, place told me they're not doing anything, but they do got a group thing coming up on Halloween. I'm not big on groups. I don't like groups and because too many people will, uh, will, uh, make the, make the, uh, investigation bad. So I've contacted a few other places. One of them, I was trying to keep under wraps and not say anything about it because I wanted to be, wanted to go up. Be, yes, this is selfish. I want to be one of the first YouTuber, one of the first people to actually, put this out there of this place and make, I know a lot of people's done videos, but nobody has really done any paranormal stuff there until, Oh my gosh, just posted a video of him at this location. Um, I, I was watching, uh, Omar's lat one of his videos when they were on the way to this place, he started describing it. <laughs> And when he started describing it, um, it, I was, I, I did a double take like, huh? And of course my thought process was, what is <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I had to play that up. I, I just realized I had audio clips, but anyways, I was like, no, man. So, Lake Sharni, I am going, I've done, I was in talks with them uh, a couple weeks ago. They said they're, uh, <clears throat> they were opening back up for their stuff. So, I will probably be planning a trip and going to do an investigation. This place is, now that I got the box, that's one reason I want to wait because of getting this uh, ghost box or Trinity box. <clears throat> I this place is an amusement park that is abandoned and it was built on Indian burial ground um, <clears throat> from what Omar was saying in his video that uh, the guy told him that there is a uh, a bunch of bodies still buried on land when they were doing some road excavations or whatever the the um they dug bodies came up, so they had to move them or whatever. About 30 bodies or so. And then also I have another place I'm going is a cave here in Kentucky. And back in 2007, I believe they found two bodies in there. Somebody had killed them and dumped them there, or they did some ritual uh, there. It is a known satanic ritual place. So, I do have places planned. I want to do more investigation places and I hate that I haven't been able to put out videos other than reactions. And I've, I've come to realize some of the reactions I do, not a lot of people want to watch. I did a video for Hobson. Meh. Wasn't reviewed good. I mean, wasn't a lot of people watch the, um, uh, Chris Ramsey video. Me personally, I like Chris Ramsey's puzzle uh, solving. 
it didn't get a lot of views. So I will, if I do start doing more reactions, it, I will stick to paranormal because I like paranormal and it fits. It fits the channel. I do want to migrate most of my stuff over and I will be doing a second channel of uh, magnet fishing, blog, blogs, whatever. Uh, that second channel is going to be a vlog channel. I just got to get it all set up and get it going, get some videos ready for it and start posting up for you guys. Uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, my main purpose of coming here on live right now was to talk about the Trinity box and about some of my new toys. So um, drop your comments below what uh, devices you want to see me use. Um, considering the S box or the SB 11, which one do you guys think would be a better device to use? All right, guys, I'm out of here.